Well, hello guys and welcome back. Today, I am working with the Model Ones Dip Powder Kit and there are 20 dip powders in here. It is crazy big, but I am so excited to create just a beautiful winter nail look. So I think we should go ahead and jump right into the video so we can get started. Okay, so Model One sent me their 20 color dip powder kit as well as their dehydrator and primer. They are having a sale over on Amazon for Black Friday. It begins, I believe, this Friday into next Friday as well. I'm not sure the exact dates that they're gonna be running the sale for. I know sometimes they do it a couple days ahead of time. But anyways, the point is <laughs> that they're having a Black Friday sale over on Amazon. I'll have the link down below and you can get this on sale as well as a couple other things that they will have over there. And remember, it's on Amazon, not their website. So it will be an Amazon link. Okay, I wanna go ahead and bust this baby open. Now, I've already got my tips on, so I will show you guys what this looks like. I have used theirs today. But I'm trying to think if I have used it on my channel before. I believe I have. I think that they are pretty good primer and dehydrator. Like, I think they work well. Especially when you're using, like, the same company line, I would say. Like, it's nice to have their primer and dehydrator as well. Just ensures that everything, like, works together. So, I just want to pop this baby open real quick so you guys can see. Because there are some really beautiful colors in here. And it took me a while to decide like what colors I wanted to use. Okay, what just fell? Just a little orange wood stick. I didn't even see that in here before. That might, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna stick that over there. And then we've also got some extra brush heads, which is awesome because the brushes do have a tendency to get messed up sometimes. Okay, so these are all the colors and they're stunning. Oh my God, they're so pretty. But what I was like drawn to the most when I opened this box was this blue sparkle right here. So I'm just gonna take this out and show you guys. I just wanna shake it up a bit. But is she not like the prettiest freaking dip powder or powder in general that you've ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. It just makes me think of winter. So I'm gonna be using her and of course then I'm gonna need some blues and I'm gonna grab the darker blue that kind of goes with it and then also the lighter blue just in case I need it. And I also wanna use the silver sparkle as well in there and you'll see why when I get started but oh, this one is so pretty too. Like I'm all about the sparkles today. That's what I want. And I might try to pull like a, I, I don't know if I definitely want to use a gray color. I think I'm just going to stick with these four that I've got over here in the blues. And then I'm going to put this away. But before I do that, let me just show you everything that you get in the kit. So you get all of your dip liquids. It's one through four. So you get your base, you get your powder activator. This is your gel top coat. Oh, normally they don't give you a gel top coat. It's just like a dip, a dip top coat. And then this is your brush saver. So every time I do a set, I take my dip powder brush out and I swap it with the dip saver. It just ensures that your brushes are kept nice and beautiful. And then the next thing we have is a beautiful little brush to use. And I'm just going to show you guys. It's nice and fluffy. It's a smaller brush. Sometimes you see people using like big brushes, but I actually prefer the small ones. And then you get a cuticle pusher. I've already done my nails and put them on. So like, I don't need that stuff, but it comes with a file. I think an orange wood stick <laughs> and a little buffer block. I probably won't use this. Like I'll probably use my professional files only because like this isn't gonna do much of anything for your dip powder. Sorry, but it's not. And then you get a little cuticle oil that I'm trying to get out of here. So I'm gonna take all that stuff out. I'm gonna leave these, the other colors in here, but I do wanna point out some that are absolutely like amazingly beautiful. This purple glitter, I just thought was stunning. And I was on the fence about doing a purple look as well. And like the purple that kind of coincides with that or that I would use with that would be this guy right here. Really pretty, 
really, really pretty. And then you've got like a ton of neutrals that you could do so much with. I was really contemplating doing like a burgundy look. This looks more on the red side than burgundy. So I decided not to do that. But again, there's a lot of like beautiful neutral colors. So you don't have to go all crazy. So then we get our instructions that <laughs> kind of got a little haggard because of me, not because of the box that it was in. I took it out and then threw it back in there by accident. So I'm gonna read through the instructions and then come back and kind of explain everything that you guys need to do. All right. I'm actually gonna start with number 39, which is the silver uh, sparkly one, glitter, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just giving it like a little shake to kind of mix all the glitter up so that I get like an even distribution of it on my nail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. And I put like a little paper down in case powder gets on here, I can just throw it out. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that I can fit my nail into this container and I think I will be able to. Like I've used other brands that, you know, in their kits, they give you this size. Oh my gosh, this is full of sparkle. Like I've seen other ones. Let me just go ahead and get you like a good old picture of this. Other companies that have like you know, like a sparkly dip powder that I've used have not been that like full, has not been that like full of sparkles before. It's usually like a lot of clear powder or like a pigmented powder. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is applying the dip base. And I have to do this quickly. So um, this is getting a full nail of the silver glitter, so. And yes, I'm gonna use both the silver. Oh shoot, I was only supposed to go like halfway up. Crap, all right, so what I'll do is I'll just dip half and then I'll go in and I'll dip. Oh no, I messed up already. I mean, it, to be fair, it doesn't say that in the instructions and these aren't very long nails, so I actually don't think it matters. Yeah, I'm doing like short nails today. Oh my God. Well, short for me anyways. <laughs> Let me put that over there. Uh, what's going on? I feel like I gotta dip it in my cameras. Okay, dip. It said pull straight out like that. So then I'm just gonna. Ew, she looks so beautiful. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of like tap it in. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, okay, so I got these little things off of Amazon. They're like orange wood sticks, but they're plastic and they are a hell of a lot pointier. So you can get like right in that sidewall area and the cuticle area and get any dip powder like out of there. So it's kind of nice. I've seen other people do that on their videos when I've watched like tutorials for dip. <laughs> I'm like, that's such a good idea. So I'm just kind of running this around to get like any excess off of my cuticle. Just to make sure it's like not on the skin, you know? And then I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of like press it down. Now it said to wait, it said to brush it off. So I actually went ahead and got a separate brush to use for the glitter ones. That way I don't contaminate the regular ones. So I'm just being very gentle and brushing this off, trying to get it in the pot, but it's basically just going everywhere else. Um, and then it said to wait 60 seconds before I do the next one, right? Yes. Air dry for 60 seconds and then repeat steps one and two once or twice again. So I'm gonna wait and then I will do the second one and then we'll come back for the next color. And I'm also gonna do the same color to my pinky. So I'm gonna do that off camera as well. So now I've gotta put step two on here. And I just want you to look at this nail. That is the most beautiful glitter nail I have ever seen in my life. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I don't know what I'm singing. I'm just singing over here. I could not get that open to save my life. Okay, so whew, this is the activator. This is step two. <laughs> This is step two. Oh, and by the way, step three is not a uh, gel top coat. It is just like the regular top coat, um, but I am gonna top them with gel because I just think it gives a better sparkle. If I see any glitter on them, just to make sure that 
it doesn't get in like mixed in all right because I don't want any glitter on the blue nails okay except for the places that I'm gonna put it now while that is drying before I file I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do like the fun little design with the blue okay so I have been seeing people doing like cool designs with dip powder and I would like to try it today so basically I have been seeing people do like hearts in there where they put the number like they put the base coat down into like the shape of a heart and then they dip that in and they do that two times and then they go in and they finish like the base color around that and they dip that in twice so I'm not making a heart I'm doing something really easy I'm just gonna do like a line down the middle of the nail with the glitter blue and then go next to it with the dark blue so easy okay and I may attempt to do one that's just like going across on the index now super easy if I can execute it. <laughs> All right, I think this is good and mixed up. So let me just go ahead and open it up. And I just vacuumed up the, oh my God, that's so pretty. I just went ahead and I vacuumed the like silver glitter up. Like there's not enough that it's made like a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna use this to kind of put my hand on cause I wanna draw this line right down the center from like here to the number on the end of the nail. And if that's not center, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I wanna start thin and then maybe work my way up, but oh God, it's already crooked. It's already crooked. Okay, I guess we're doing a thick line then. Oh shit, it's crooked. Like I went too thick. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. It's hard to draw with that because the thing wants to just go wherever it wants to go. So I'm gonna let this dry and try again. I'm gonna try again this time. Let me just get this out. I'm gonna wipe it off so I have it in like a shape. And then I'm gonna go down here on the table and try it. I just think it'll be more stable that way. And I'm gonna go slow, honey. So far, so good. Okay. I need to kind of just put like a little more on that side. Um, okay. If I need to make it a little thicker, I will. Not a problem. Okay, here we go. Dip it in. I feel like my cuticle's not quite in there. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Let's see. It worked. Okay, I'm just gonna take this little thing right here and kind of push that over. I must have squished it by accident, but that's okay. That is okay. So I'm gonna kind of just take, I'm like whispering to you guys right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this little thing and almost like fix it, like move it where I want it to be, right? So kind of put it there and like pat it down. Oh my God. I cannot believe that worked. It needs to come over just a smidge or I need to come over a little bit on this side when I do the second one. Yeah, I think I might do that. I might just add it like just a little bit over on this side. Cause I do want you to be able to see it. I mean like, that's the whole point. Um, but wow, that worked. Oh my God. Okay, gotta let her dry. And then I'll be back to do the second coat. I want you guys to see this, so I'll be back to show you guys the second coat. Here we go, let's try this again. Just making sure to, cause last time I got like a blob that came down and that is what messed me up. So I'm just kind of trying to get off as much as I can. All right, here we go. So I see exactly where it needs to go over. So I'm just gonna follow that line like Basically, it was kind of like sticking out at the bottom. And let's dip. Let's dippity dip. I gotta go in at like a 45 degree angle. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then lift right out. Okay. Oh, it's, it's perfect. It's in the perfect spot. <gasps> Wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Oh my God, it's great. It's great, it's great. I got a couple little pieces I just need to move over, but it's great. 
Oh my goodness. I might do like a third coat just to get like nice and opaque. And like I missed a little spot up here, but that's okay. Oh my God, it's okay. This is gonna be so cool. I've never done anything like that before with dip. That is so much fun. I mean, and then like you'll have the dark blue on the side. Like I didn't know you could do stuff like that with dip. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the third coat and I will be back. So I've got a new fresh brush now and I've opened up this like royal blue. I think it's gonna be royal blue just based on like the lid color. Um, I hope so, I hope so, because it's so freaking pretty. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just, I just want something to like rest my finger on and just wipe off the glitter. <laughs> okay, so I'm basically just going to paint this on on each side where the glitter is not. Okay, and let's dip, darling, and hope that it does not stick to the other one because I already put the nail hardener like on the middle part. So hopefully it doesn't stick there. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. All right, here we go, pull it out. And gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna run through like the cuticle area over here. I may have gotten a little bit on my skin, but that's okay, I can file it off. But anyways, Oh, it's gonna be so cute. All right, I'm gonna gently, gently wipe this off. And then I'm gonna do another coat of the blue. So now I'm gonna finish up my index and middle finger. And what I thought I would do was the light blue here and the dark blue here, just to have like a little, I don't know, a little difference. Looking at the caps, they look like the same exact color, but they definitely look different like in the container. So I guess we're gonna find out. If they're the same, then I guess, I don't know, I'll just use one of them. I do wanna just run a little alcohol over my nail first, <laughs> just to make sure that it's nice and clean. All right, there we go. So I'm only gonna go about halfway up and I'm gonna paint both of them. Not that you can see me. <laughs> okay, they are different colors, thank the Lord. All right, so I'm basically gonna fully dip these, two coats, maybe three, depending on how it looks. I'm gonna file everything up and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna bling. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna put the finishing touches on this set. I went ahead and I buffed everything. I really wish there was like a bigger difference between these two colors. Unfortunately, there's not, but it is what it is. So what I wanna do is I wanna put like a line on each side of like the, the glitter part in this nail. I just think it will make it pop a little bit more. So I'm using this metallic silver from Model Ones. I got it on Amazon like a while back. I don't even know if they still sell it, but uh, that's what I'm gonna use today. And I'm just using, I'm using a 15 millimeter brush, which I have never used, but it seems like if you wanna do longer lines, that is what you have to do. So here we go, wish me luck. Okay, I need more, I need like more polish on here because I just feel like it's not loaded up enough. But I did do a straight line, so that's good. But I feel like it just needs a little bit more. You know what I mean? And this way, you know, if it wasn't like perfect, you are kind of hiding that, you know what I mean? Okay, I like it. And I think once it's top coated, it's gonna look great. I love it. Okay, I do wanna just make this one, make sure that we got it like all the way down, which I think we did. And I think it looks really nice like that. I think that once it's top coated, it's gonna look really pretty. I do have to clean up a little section. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cure that. And then I'm gonna come back and we're just gonna do like a little bit of like cuticle beadwork or gem work, whatever you wanna call it. I literally cannot think of words right now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use some gem gel and I'm basically gonna do the same thing. I'm just doing some like cuticle beads over here. So I'm gonna dip into the gem gel and I'm using that same liner brush as before. And hello. <laughs> I'm gonna start over here first and I'm gonna kinda just mat this out up by my cuticle and I don't wanna put too much on at first. Other th otherwise, everything's gonna be slipping and sliding. So I'm gonna start with this blue bead here. And then I'm gonna put 
one of these like uh, larger Aurora ones on each side. And let me make sure that that is centered because all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do my bling, and I'll let you guys watch and relax. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna top coat with regular top coat from Mata Ones. I should have said gel top coat. Like the other top coat is great and it is really shiny, like the dip top coat, but I just prefer a gel top coat. I don't know what it is. I just think it's really beautiful and shiny. And I'm also basically like trapping these gems in here by doing it this way, so that finger looks quite nice and I'm gonna do the same thing to my index finger and I will be back and I'll show you the finished look oh my gosh this is it guys I'm gonna use some of their cuticle oil but this is so cute thank you so much model ones for sending me this dip powder kit I haven't done dip in like ages on my channel and I don't know why I kind of just sorry <laughs> I gotta really click this thing up for it to get started. Let's see here. Hello. Are you going to work? Enjoy the ASMR. Oh, it was short lived. Here we go. I'll do one more for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the brush is a little stiff. I never felt that before. But oh my God, guys. This was so much fun to do and it was so easy. I forgot how easy like dip powder nails can be. I mean, they really are super, super duper easy. The colors were crazy pigmented. Like I had to clean my fingers off with alcohol or else they were gonna be blue. Like there's still some blue <laughs> over here from these powders, but I had a really good time and it was so easy to do this. Um, oh my God, I'm like absolutely in love, especially with the sparkly nails. Oh God, this looks so, like this is so so beautiful look at that shine so I had fun I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I did this I I don't know what else to say thank you to model ones I mean they've been such a sport for a while now so I have really had fun working with them and I just want to say once again thank you guys so much for your support you got like it means so much to me to have you guys comment on my videos it helps me a lot so please when you watch just leave me a little comment if you don't know what to say just like comment an emoji or something like that because it really does help my analytics and help like the video get pushed out more like i always say before you leave please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up hit that bell notification button so you never miss a manny with me bye guys